Hello, today we are going to discuss the topic overlap save method. This method is a very simple explanation of overlap save method. So, uh, this is one of the linear filtering methods used for filtering of long duration sequences. So, uh, under this category, there are two methods that is overlap save and overlap add. Overlap add method we have already discussed in an earlier video. So, today we will be seeing what is overlap save method with the help of a simple example. So, I am going to filter my X of N which is a long duration sequence and the impulse response I am going to take as H of N. The impulse response is having a length of M and this uh, indicates that the impulse response is the uh, response of a finite uh, uh, FIR filter that is finite impulse response filter. Now, my step one is I am going to take my original signal X of N which is having a length of LS and I am going to divide uh, the segments I am going to divide the original signal into segments of length L and the criteria for choosing uh, the length L is L should be greater than or equal to M that is my step 1. In step 2 I am going to add M minus 1 zeros to the start of the first segment then I am going to take the M minus 1 points from the previous segment I am going to add that in the first of the next segment that is every segment will be having its first M minus 1 points coming from the previous segment. So, these two parts include this step 2. In this step 3, I am going to make the length of my impulse response that is H of N to N. So, in my step 2, what I have done is I have made the length of all the segments to N that is equal to L plus M minus 1. In step 3, I am going to make the length of my impulse response to N. In step 4, I am going to take the circular convolution of my new segments with my new H of N. That is, I am going to take the circular convolution of my segments with my impulse response. And in this step 5, which is the last step, I am going to linearly combine the results obtained. So, these are the 5 steps used for doing the uh, overlap save method. Now we will see a simple example of how the overlap save method is actually done. Anybody can understand uh, the overlap save method with this example. So let's see. Now my signal x of n I am going to take as x of n equal to set 3 minus 1 0 1 3 2 0 1 2 1. And it is having a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, I am going to take a signal X of N of length 10. That is LS is equal to 10 here. And I am going to take an impulse response H of N equal to set 1, 1, 1. That is my, uh, my length of impulse response which is M equal to 3 here. That is from the question we understood LS is equal to 10 and M equal to 3. Now what I have to do is I have to choose my capital letter L. That is I am going to choose the length of each segment now. Here I am going to take L as 3. And the criteria for choosing L is L should be greater than or equal to M. Now I am going to perform, perform my first step here. That is my division of my input original signal that is I have already chosen my length L as 3. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take my original signal which is given here. This is my original signal. I am going to divide it uh, into segments now. So I have chosen L as 3. So I am going to take 3 3 pairs that is 3 minus 1 0 will be my x1. 1 3 2 will be my x2. 0 1, 2 will be my x3 and x4 there is only one element so I have to make it to a length of uh, L is equal to 3 so I am going to add two zeros. So each segment I have to I have made with length 3. Simply what I have done is I have divided into pair of 3, 3 elements and I have formed x1, x2, x3 and x4. Next is a very important step which is step 2 
in that step i am going to take my x1 x2 x3 and x4 and i am going to make its length to n which is equal to l plus m minus 1 so here l is 3 m is 3 so 3 plus 3 minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 is 5 so i have to make my x1 x2 x3 and x4 to a length l is uh, a length n is equal to 5 so what i'm going to do i'm going to show here I will take my x1, this is my x1, I am going to add for m minus 1 zeros in the beginning to the first segment. So this segment I am going to modify like this, I have added m minus 1 zeros which I have marked with the help of a circle. So this is my new x1 of n. Now for x2 of n, this is my x2 of n, the m minus 1 data points will come from the previous block. See I will show here. So this m minus 1 data points from the previous block which is x1 of n and that is from the end of the previous block I am going to take to the beginning of the next block. I hope it is very clear that is m minus 1 points from the previous block will come to the beginning of the next block. For x3 of n this is my x3 of n similarly I will be doing that is I am going to take the m minus 1 point from the previous block and going to add to the x3 of n that is my new x3 of n and similarly for x4 of n also I am going to do like this that is this will be my x4 of n. So this is my new x4 so I have obtained x1, x2, x3 and x4 these are my new segments and uh, it will be like this. So, for the first segment only I have added uh, m minus 1 zeros at the beginning. Rest for all the segments, the beginning m minus 1 points will come from the previous block. I hope this step is very much clear. So, in this uh, step 3, I am going to make the length of my impulse response to n. So, here the n value is 5. So, h, when h of n will be like uh, this. So, h of n uh, I have added m minus 1 zeros. That is 2 zeros I have added. So, this will be my new h of n. So, in uh, step 4, that is, I am going to take the circular convolution of the newly formed segments with my new h of n. So, uh, I have already explained how to perform the circular convolution uh, in my earlier video. So, please check that video to uh, find how the circular convolution is done. Circular convolution can be easily performed using a matrix method. So, here I have done the matrix method circular convolution and I am going to show the results directly that is x1 of n circular convolution h of n will be your uh, new y1 of n will be like this your new y2 of n will be like this and uh, y3 of n uh, which is obtained by the circular convolution of x3 of n and h of n and for y4 of n that is x4 of n circular convolution h of n you will be obtaining your y4 like this so this is the y1, y2, y3 and y4 so, uh, in this step 5, I am going to linearly combine the results that is y1, y2, y3 and y4 I am going to combine and how it is going to be combined, I will be explaining. So, what I am going to do in this step is, I am going to remove or discard the first m minus 1 points from all these blocks since the uh, these points are said to be redundant because we have taken it from the previous block and it is uh, con considered to be redundant points. I am going to remove these redundant points. That is, I am going to remove this much of points. The first m minus 1 points I am going to remove and uh, the result will be like this. And I will be writing the remaining points. That is 3, 2, 2, 0, 4, 6, 5, 3, 3, 4, 3, 1. 3, 2, 2, 0, 4, 6, 5, 3, 3 and 4, 3, 1. And the final result will be uh, having a length of ls plus m minus 1. You know your ls value is 10, your m value is 3 and uh, here you will be having length of final result equal to 12. So, what you have to do is take only 12 points and discard the rest. That is uh, from your y of n which you have already obtained, take only this much of points. For this example, it is only 12 points and you are going to discard the rest. For this particular example, uh, your y of n is only having 12 points. I will count and show 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, there is no points to discard and in this case, your uh, y of n is your previous y of n itself. So, this is how 
you are performing a overlap save method i hope the method is very much clear and uh, i hope you all understood how to perform overlap save and if you like the video please like and subscribe and thank you for watching the video